Spam is ubiquitous in Hong Kong, both as a food item and in terms of the bombardment of advertisements. Just as spam appears on the menu of every cha chan tang, so spam appears on every usable surface of the city. Early tenement style buildings already saw the integration of signage onto architectural elements, not unlike the frieze in early Greek and Roman architecture. The columns that formed ground level arcades were particularly well suited to the verticality of Chinese characters. As competition grew, signs cantilevered out from buildings to maximize display area, plotting up narrow gaps between alleys and lanes in the process. Horizontal English signs crisscrossed with vertical Chinese signs, encapsulating the city's constant balancing between two cultures. With technology, advertisements are always growing more sophisticated, from the physical to the digital. Content can be changed anytime and fit any shape or surface. Now signs are everywhere, from exterior to interior, rooftops to street level, buildings to vehicles. Banner-like advertisements on the side of trams were first deployed in the 1930s, leveraging the tram circulation through the city to target a wider audience than the stationary billboard. Ever since, ads have become urban elements used to construct the city's streetscape. They can be spotted on all sorts of vehicles, from trams and buses to trucks and trains. Mobile graphics capture pedestrian sight. Delightful colors blind their eyes. And when ads can't move physically, digital screens try to achieve the same reach by cycling through different content. In one of Hong Kong's most crowded street intersections, a billboard fills the side of a 14-story high mansion. Just opposite, a 72 by 19 meter display screen announces the presence of Sogo, a large Japanese department store. At night, these screens automatically become more vibrant, overpowering the stars in the dark. Together with the dazzling neon lights of a past generation, they produce intense color clashes in this sleepless city conjuring a world easily engraved upon people's memory. Known for his obsession with advertisements, Andy Warhol's art glamorizes the mundane nature of mass production. Everyday objects, the Campbell soup can, the Coca-Cola bottle, spam, are given a new status, in turn questioning the status of art. In the same way, ads have also taken on a new status in the city. From color to calligraphy, from steady physical signage to ever-changing digital screens, from day to night, spam gives the city discordance and hence a strange illusory character. Hong Kong is contradicting, irrational, ridiculous, and therefore chimerical.